ahead, already headed out. I'm gonna take the truck and trailer to go pick up this F30. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me. We got the truck right over here, all ready for a pickup. So let's go ahead, hop in the truck and drive over to uh, where the car is. All right guys, uh, this is Norna behind the camera. I am in the truck. We just picked up an F30 luxury line, some weird, it's a really weird package. Never honestly seen it in person. It is absolutely ugly, but the front end is worth quite a bit. We have the M4 CS right behind us. I don't know if you guys can see that as well, just chilling. Uh, we are heading home right now at this point. So guys, uh, we didn't really show you guys much, unfortunately, with this car we ended up picking up. Uh, we did already junk the title and uh, the car is pretty much ready to be dismantled. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, this honestly looks really, really, really cool. Apparently it's called the Modern Line. I'm not a huge fan of it because I'll show you guys here in a minute. But this bumper, for a non-M Sport bumper, I love this little piece right over here. I love these little accents down here as well. I think for a non-M Sport, for somebody that wants a cheaper alternative to M Sport or doesn't like M Sport for whatever reason, um, this looks really good. Come around to the interior. Uh, something I think looks really, really, really dope is this wood trim. It's only on the modern edition. Uh, it's actually textured. There's no other trim for the F chassis that's textured. Again, this interior, it's, it's horrendous. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Look I don't. At that. <laughs> I don't understand how anyone would actually choose this. It's, it's actually disgusting. Beige steering wheel, beige cluster. Everything's beige, bro. Yeah, I don't know. The whole dash. Is this like considered like a luxury at its time? Like beige I, was like trending well, or something. Beige like, is always supposed to be like, uh, like yeah, luxury. I luxury? guess. Luxury. Yeah. So I don't like know. beige and chrome. It's just not working for us. Other than that, I mean, is nothing really else to it. This engine. Uh, for those of you guys who follow us on our Instagram, uh, we actually blew this engine up on video. So uh, make sure to check us out down below. We actually actually just gave it a few revs and it was knocking and we drove it in here but then uh <laughs> it's never going it, anywhere it, it literally again. blew in right here in this spot video. is where it blew so, so if you guys want to see how an n20 blows on video check out our instagram link down below and our new professional pin i just bought this car i need your help on uh, make sure everything's okay yeah i'm sure i can figure it out all right go ahead and get uh, start off for me man <laughs> Yeah, there's not really much to it. Obviously, we got this car uh, mainly for the front end parts. This front clip, uh, it's it's just worth quite a bit of money. A lot of people need these front end parts because they're not just 328. They also work for 330s. They also work for 335s. And they also work for 340s, which is a very, very, very expensive car. Um, so, yeah, it's just nice to have a cheaper car have the same parts um, and... Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, knock all this out, disassemble it all, and uh, get them listed for you guys. All right, guys, so Nor is working on the F30, slowly taking it apart. Uh, the last part that we did was an F02 750 Li. We have this engine chilling right here. We also have a 328 N52 uh, also sitting over here. Uh, the reason why we haven't put these two away yet is uh, mainly because this car over here. So we keep our engines back there, but we haven't had any space to put the engines back there because of this car. So quick little story on this car. I don't know if we've mentioned it in any of the videos. I can't remember, but uh, this is a 2006 330i. It was an automatic and uh, of course it was slipping. It had automatic transmission issues. And we are in the process of actually manual swapping it. If you guys look over here, we actually have the transmission already in. Uh, we were gonna make a dedicated video on it. I'm not sure if we're still gonna do a dedicated video on it, but uh, it is slowly getting put back together. It's honestly been chilling in this spot for like the last month or so, and we haven't been able to get to it. So if you guys are wondering what this car is doing sitting here, uh, it is because we're halfway through and we need to get some custom wiring done and uh, just haven't had the time to get to it. So that is what this car is doing over here. It is a 2006 330i manual swapped. It is gonna be a fun little car uh, that we're hoping to be able to sell for a little bit of profit. So yeah guys, this is kind of what it's looking like just chilling over here in the back, uh, kind of taking up space, but we don't wanna leave it outside because it's like halfway done. This is what I was talking about. So we got our engines over here. We still have the E92 M3 engine with 166k miles available, and then we have a few other engines just chilling here. Uh, but we are slowly running out of space. I guess that's a good thing, but also a bad thing. We want to get these things moving. Anyway, we got the engines over here, and then the car's chilling over here. And then again, Nor is working on the F30. So slowly, slowly getting some progress done, day by day. The grind don't stop, does it? No, sir. No, sir. 
Alrighty, so now that you guys know what's going on with this car, let's go ahead and jump into the next part of the video. We have an update on the M4CS, and we also have an update on Jonathan's 135. The good news is they're both officially past smog, which is honestly one of the hardest things, in my opinion, for rebuilding a car. Um, Jonathan's car needed a whole engine. Now that that has, is officially smogged, that's good to go. He's Actually, it's already registered, right? It's already registered. It's already so registered. So that car go. is officially on the road after, what, eight months? of Eight uh, months, bro. Eight months. So it's good eight to go months now. worth of work. Yeah, we, we've been too focused on this business. We need to get some cars, you know, going. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of cars, this is the M4 CS that literally took us nearly 11 months, 10 to 11 months to rebuild, yep. which you guys know me. If this was old Nor, that probably would have got it done in a month and a half with a lot of credit card debt. But uh, <laughs> in this case, it took almost 11 months. That being said, it did pass smog, it did pass brake, and it did pass light. Thankfully, they didn't really care about the aftermarket taillights on the car. They still function like OEM. So just got to give you guys an update on uh, me. Noah Hummity. And uh, basically, we have the E91M3 still chilling here. Battery drainage, not being driven. Jonathan, we need to go to car meet, like straight up. <laughs> like, I think, you know what? I need to make it a goal that I need to post on my Instagram. Follow us on our Instagrams, links down below. We need to go to a car meet. For those of you guys who go to some car meets around the Sacramento area that are pretty sick, I don't want to see a bunch of, you know, JDM stuff. It's just not my thing. For those of you guys who go to like Euro meets or exotic car meets and stuff like that that are in their Sacramento area and know of some, I really don't know what page to follow because I don't go to car meets. So let me know down below. I need to take the E91 M3. Jonathan wants to take his M3. Um, again, I actually have a few mods for this car that's in this car. A bunch of M performance things I want to slap on this car and a few other little detail pieces. And uh, there's a, you know, sick little carbon fiber lip just kind of chilling there. So maybe in the next video, honestly, uh, I'll show you guys an update on the E91 M3 actually get the rest of that put on and maybe we'll actually head out for a car meet and have some fun so i think that'd be kind of sick uh, but at the same time what is replacing the audi r8 that's officially gone uh i'm gonna go ahead and place a little bit of footage right now on something i was potentially about to bid on we'll go ahead and just shoot to that footage real quick uh yeah let's go up to 35. i'm not crazy right Yeah, because like even if I have to go carbon tub, your subframe should be in it under 60, even with all that work, you know what I mean? Yeah, you should be under 100 for sure. Under 100? <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, here we go. Oh, bro. oh snap, bro. Oh man. <laughs> See, now this is some manly bits. <laughs> oh man, I'm terrified. There's so many bitters. <laughs> it's gonna go for a lot more than you expect. Bro. No, it's gonna go for 40 grand watch. I don't know, bro. Are we going more? Uh, go to 37. Just one more bit, I guess. That's stupid. No, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, let's let's see what it goes for. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's too much. The thing is, it's pretty clapped. I don't know. If it was like Sacramento, it'd be a little different. But I paid another two k to get it delivered. Yeah. It's probably like forty one hundred. Forty one thousand, not one hundred. Forty one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't playing with chump change. Change I don't have. Yeah, that's too much, bro. Forty two. The thing is, they, is he gonna go for 42? Bonus. Damn, that's a good deal still. Like, if it was local. Nah, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, no, nah, it's not worth it. No, nah, it's it's not, dude. I'm, I'm sure you can. Oh. I'm going for 44. So, technically, what is that, like 47, 48 out the door? Uh, 44. 44, uh, one second, I'll tell you like how fast that would be. 44. That's gonna be like 48 out the door. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. That that car could potentially be clapped. Yeah. I think it went for that much because it was a spider. That car is not 120. It retails 180. Not retails, but that's what it's going for right now. So like. Uh, Oh, there's always another one. So yeah, uh, I'm not a McLaren owner. 
I thought I was. It was going to be a pretty sick, expensive sound system because that car wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> I was like, I think I have just enough to buy it, get it delivered, and just sit inside of it and say, your boy owns a McLaren. How sick would that be? It will never be registered because that tub probably cracked and that rear subframe is definitely clapped. That car was clapped. I, I spoke with V2 and a guy, for those of you guys who don't know, they actually rebuilt, he actually rebuilt the 720S from the ground up. He actually replaced the entire carbon tub and done a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Insane build. But then I had to ask him, bro, was it worth it? Was it absolutely worth doing all that? And uh, he said, end of the day, you know, he doesn't regret anything, but at the same time, it took a lot of patience, a lot of discipline to get that car together. And long story short, I don't know if I really want to go through that. If it took us 11 months to put together a CS, which is, not that crazy. I don't know if I want to tackle an, uh, you know, McLaren right now, especially if I have to literally replace everything on that tub. That being said, uh, I did want to be responsible. I told you guys, like when we sold the R8, I need to be financially responsible. I'm not going to be spending the money on stupid stuff. I can tell you guys that. <laughs> Invest the money back into the business. And I was over here looking at McLaren's yeah. sound system. <laughs> oh, that was Imagine it was just sitting over there in the next, in the next video, just me singing a song told McLaren. <laughs> I literally can probably buy one, but I won't be able to afford to fix it. I'll literally be just a look at it and just be like one day, I will drive her, you know, that's how it's gonna have to be. But that being said, uh, we are looking at Porsches. So I know a lot of you guys who love BMWs also love Porsches. I'm looking at a Carrera 911 around the 2013. What era is that? So it's the 991. 991, Jonathan knows a lot more about Porsches. So the 991 generation, I am looking at some of those, or I'm also looking at a Cayman uh, 718, or what is the one so before it's, that? So it's a 981 and a 982 is what you're looking at. Both of those. Um, so I'm looking at all those three cars and I want to either do a GT3 kit on the 911 or a GT4 kit on the Caymans. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think. I do think if I could build a super sick Porsche, it'd be super sick. I always like Porsche. I mean, I don't always like it. So if I say that right now, my wife's going to kill me. So when I met my wife, long story short, uh, she actually loved Porsches, all this stuff. And I told her the car is not worth the money whatsoever. <laughs> and then it started trending and stuff like that. And then I kind of hopped It's always the been trending, bro. It's, you just... Didn't know about it. I just, it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. At first, when I saw the GT2 RS was four hundred thousand dollars, I was like, bro, I can get two Huracans or a McLaren <laughs> and a Huracan for that kind of money. But then you really, I actually saw one in person. It's actually insane. They're I nice, think nice. it's worth every penny at this point. The GT4 is honestly with every, especially the GT4 RSs. Oh my, oh lord. my lord. Oh my lord. Mid engine. Oh, I only had money. But anyways, uh, so yeah, that's kind of the story. So yeah, I'm looking at some Porsches. Let us know down below. Would you guys want to see a Porsche build, a rebuild, a uh, GT, you know, build at the same time, modifying it, actually doing a crazy build on it like I did with the 435 back in the day. Um, enjoy that. Or do you guys think uh, McLaren for two years, maybe three years? It would, might, it would be a very long project. Might take 10 years. Uh, not 10 years, not 10 years. I might have my son finish it, but uh, <laughs> those guys don't know, he's just born. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to have to probably conclude the video. That's a little bit of updates all over the place. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be working on the E91 M3 or just, you know, another part out. If we have a good enough part out video, we'll show you guys that. If not, hopefully an E91 M3 update. Um, and then hopefully if you get a Porsche here in the near future, let us know which Porsche you guys would recommend in the comments down below. 911, again, the... So it's a 991 911. 991 911. A 981 Cayman or a 982 Cayman. One of those. What he said. Let us know down <laughs> below, guys. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.